Hi, welcome to some more uh, Left 4 Dead 2. All us lonely birds. I know, it's Valentine's Day. At least I'm uploading this on Valentine's Day, and I just want to say that I heart you. Now, let's go, uh, I don't know. We're just going to place online, and when I find a good one, I'll cut to it. So, see y'all then. Alrighty. We are at the loading screen, and I'm just going to start it here, because I do have a great su surprise for you all, if you're watching this. um. Thank you to the great Sir Pajama for creating this. It's going to be pretty magnificent. So, yeah. I believe I believe that's his name, right? Yeah. The great Sir Pajama. Oh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. Okay, let's do this. He ain't coming back. That chopper looks like he's heading to the evac center at the mall. Oh boy, <laughs> Trevor Phillips, what are you doing in Left 4 Dead? Oh there. my goodness, oh, no. this is awesome. So we're going to do this live. We'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. So the Great Sir Pajama created this mod for Left 4 Dead 2. It replaces Ellis, rightfully so, because Elephant, uh, Elephant. I was about to call Ellis Elephant, but um, uh, Ellis is sort of a hillbilly, oh, and it's awesome. So, yeah, thank you to the Great Sir Pajama. You created something that's magnificent. I thank you, and I love you. Not really, unless you want me to. I, I, I'm not, I have no shame in that. But anyway, I believe I do ha have fa I have found the correct settings for my OBS. Um, actually, no. I'm recording this at 60 frames per second, and there's still going to be some artifacting or uh, screen tearing, if you will. So... I apologize for that, but at least the frames per second should be, or at, at least the frame per second should be consistent. It shouldn't lag too much. And I just got hit by RNG there. I just got hit by RNG. Get Trevor Phillips up. Trevor Phillips can't die here. So yeah. And, um, oh man. oh man, oh man, oh man. I was messing around with uh, 48 frames per second. I wanted to record this in 60. And in 48 frames. Oh, sh really? I'm, I'm gonna have to use this. Wow. That is horrible. Get in here, Nick. But, um, yeah. I was experimenting with 48 frames per second, and the screen tearing was gone. So. I forgot to turn it back to 48 frames per second, and this is in 60 frames per second recording. So there is going to be that screen tear artifacting. Uh, artifacting. Uh, I can't say it today. I don't know why. But. So I apologize. There, there's more of that when I put on the sharpening, though, uh, in my editing software. I use Sony Vegas Pro 12. And there's more of that when I put the sharpening uh, video effect. So, maybe I just won't put that on. But, yeah. N not much to do. Um, I wanted to do a dead center because, one, it's my favorite campaign. It's simple, even though this is normal, and normal can get difficult if you're not paying attention. It, but it's simple, and I love it because it's, it's a campaign based on something everyone has done. We've all gone to the mall. And... Something and it's something that's kind of cool. So, just imagine if you were actually in a mall in a real life scenario, and this were the zombie apocalypse. Hey, man, what's going on? Yeah, that was perfect. He said hi, guys, and that's perfect because I use that to sync up my audio when I have my microphone plugged in. So. That'll be perfect. I, bet there's gonna be some way I guess he couldn't hear me. I guess there's something funky with my mic. Oh, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. So, you all, everybody has gone to the mall. And it, 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 
going to the mall in a zombie apocalypse, like whether it was Dead Rising 1 or if it's Dawn of the Dead, both the other one and the 2004 remake, it, 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 it spells something in me, it draws something in me that most other things don't really do all too well. But these games and uh, fiction do it very well, and, it, and that's, what if you were to be in a zombie apocalypse when... What am I trying to say here? Think, Sean, think. What if you were in a zombie apocalypse and you were going to a place where everyone is gone? A populated area, you know? And... I just love it, you know? And something that I like about the zombie apocalypse in general, not just going to a populated area like the mall, but... In general, is that it's a dark premise, you know? Something I liked about The Walking Dead Season 1 is that it was dark, it had horror elements in it, and it was fun. It was like, what are you going to do? You're Rick Grimes. You're waking up from a coma. And I don't know if I said this in my Dark Carnival. Yeah, I did say it in my Dark Carnival. But anyway, I'll repeat it. And... And you don't know what's going on because you just woke up from a coma. But, uh... And that's what I like about Season 4 so far, is that it's gone back to sort of the Season 1 horror elements. And Season 4 of The Walking Dead is the best season after Season 1. Season 2 was kind of boring, Season 3, eh, plain. Uh, but I like Season 1 and Season 4 the best out of all the seasons so far. And then, Dawn of the Dead. I believe I said it in Dark Carnival, but if I haven't, oh my gosh, I'm repeating myself. Oh. Uh, Get in here, dog. But, uh... Get your asses in here right now! If this guy doesn't come in here... Get your asses in here! Come on, bro. Get in here. Never come on, y'all. Get inside now! I'm okay, close loaded. the door. We good. Right damn good team. Yeah, 43 kills. But anyway, like I was saying... What was I saying? Do I... Oh my goodness, I can't remember, and I was going to make a good point too. This guy, staying outside of the door, uh, confuzzled me, so. But yeah, something I like about the, it, well, I, I, I think season four and season one are the best, and out of all the George A. Romero related movies, I believe he didn't really have much to do with the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead, but that is my favorite zombie movie, and I know people will be like, blasphemy! Blasphemy. The original is the better one. Eh, different strokes for different folks. I like the 2004 remake better because it sets the mood better. It sets the zombie apocalypse mood. I just always thought George A. Romero's original movie were sort of plain other than maybe I really enjoy Night of the Living Dead, both the original and the 90s remake. And it was just awesome. Night of the Living Dead is probably his best film. But Dawn of the Dead, I, I saw his original Dawn of the Dead, and wow, it was pretty awesome because a lot of the guys from there, uh, Ken Foree plays the pastor in the 2004 remake. Um, I forget who else from the original is in the 2004 remake, but they have special cameos. But the original was pretty okay. It, 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 was, it was okay, but it was bland, you know? I think that, I just think the 2004 remake better suits me. The whole zombie apocalypse feel. And I enjoy it more. And a lot of people, a lot of people enjoy another one as well. With a, I believe his name is Miguel Nunez, but I'm just gonna call him Joanna Man. The the zombie movie um, was uh, Return of the Living Dead, and his performance in there was fine. But the movie as a whole was horrible. But people seem to like that movie a lot. And I I don't like that movie. I mean, you, there's that deteriorating zombie in there that just is just like. Brains! Brains! And everybody thought that was like a paramount of the movie, but I thought it was cheesy. I thought the movie was corny. And yeah. I'm wondering if they could hear me. I don't see my blip. My radar. Whatever. Oh well. We'll do this. We'll do this. Oh crap, I'm gonna go down. Trevor Phillips is gonna go down. This is good. Great Sir Pajama. Help me. Help me, kind sir, even though you're not in my game. I'm gonna have to use my... whatever. My bacon bits. 
I, I don't know why I call them bacon bits. My pills, my pills, Sean. You can call me Sean. You can call me Times. Some people actually have started just calling me Rhymes. I, I don't. I don't. I've never been just called Rhymes. Either Times Rhymes or Times. But hey, if you, whatever you want, I'm cool. I'm cool like that. It's it's sort of it's sort of hard for me to explain why I like the zombie apocalypse so much. I know how I feel whenever I watch the zombie apocalypse stuff, like movies and video games, but it's hard for me to put it into words. There's just such a dark desolate. If, if, the, if the zombie apocalypse is done right in whatever fiction you're reading, watching, or playing, there's such a dark, desolate feel, no hope. It's, it's just hard to describe, but I know how I'm feeling, you know? And that's why I, I, I totally geek out. I think. Why did it take. That's game lag, by the way. It's not my. Oh, he needs help up. I thought he was. Okay, but, um. But, uh, what was I gonna say? I forget. Oh, yeah, but it's just such a dark, desolate feel. And I think I said this in my Dark Carnival playthrough. But, uh. Come on, come on. But. I enjoy watching like oh, The Walking man. Dead escape, oh, man, oh, man, oh, and man. that what that is is when people run an obstacle course, a zombie I'm obstacle course, and that shot. is pretty awesome. I don't know, I geeked out at the San Diego Comic Con one in 2012, and I was waiting a year for the 2013 one, and that was just awesome. And then I learned that in 2013 they did it as well in New York and Philadelphia. And so when the Philadelphia one came out, I was geeking out because, oh, I have new Walking Dead Escape to watch. And then when the New York one came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I have new Walking Dead Escape to watch. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It was pretty, it was pretty geeky of me to geek out over people running a zombie obstacle course. And then I found Run For Your Lives one, but I believe now they're defunct. And then I found zombie run ones on YouTube, and I just geek out over watching people run through a zombie obstacle course. I don't know why that is, but it is. It, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. Me freaking out over people running a zombie obstacle course. So. Oh, hey. Kick, kill him from here. Kill him from here. Aw, oh, dang it. Too, too wild. But, um, yeah. It's just, it's... I hope to run... I, I know I know. I said this, but I hope to run it if they ever come to Denver. I know the Zombie Run comes to Denver, and they're going to have a new one called the Zombie Run Black Ops where you run 3.1 miles or a 5K at night. And that's pretty crazy. Oh, crap. A tank and a charger. I'm just going to stay over here. Get back, bro. Oh, he's up there. The tank is up there, so maybe I can land some shots on him. But yeah, the Zombie Run Black Ops is coming over to Colorado in August. So hopefully I can run that, and if I can, I'll bring that to my YouTube channel, live, and hopefully Amazon Prime or Acer Prime, I think it is. I don't know why I said Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's okay, Acer Prime. I know you're not going to be able to watch this video. Oh, crap. Crap, I'm down. Where's, my, where's our team? Yeah, this is probably going to be... He, he ran all the way across. Help, help. Wow, what a teammate. I just realized that. Help. Help me. Did our teammate run all the way across without us? Yeah, sorry, Azer. Uh, we'll get you soon. But, yeah. I don't know. I just geek out over zombie stuff, man. I'm a zombie guy. Matter of fact, I just downloaded Dead Island on my 360 because it's free this month, at least until the 16th. And I'm posting this on Valentine's Day, so you have two more days if you're an Xbox Live Gold member. So, Acer Prime left. Huh. Wow. Well, <laughs> we were going to get him or her soon, so... I don't know. It's going to be a little bit more difficult since we don't have um, a full squad and we have a little bit to go before we get to our safe point. But yeah. Somebody? Anybody? Everybody! Why not? Can anyone hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. Where are you? Where's she at? Right here? I heard her. It's not showing me where she is, so hold on. I have no idea where this safe room is. Oh, there it is. Dang. I had no idea where that was. Because <laughs> it wasn't outlining. Yes, I'm that much of a noob. But yeah, let's go. All right, we ready? Let's go. Trevor Phillips is ready. Again, thanks to the great Sir Pajama. I believe that's his name. I'm, I'm going to have it burned in my head. Grabbing the cola. Let's go, Rochelle. She's my boo. Now, I recorded Dead Center before, but again, I didn't have my settings figured out, so it was just going to be choppy again like Dark Carnival. So hopefully this is better, you know? And as, if you didn't know, you can use that. I'm sorry, bro. I'm too far away. Um, ah, but you can use that van to hop up and get here quickly. I'm worried about this Alvin Johnson guy, or Alvin Jason, because uh, he just seems to leave us. And Trevor Phillips does not like that. Someone who's uh, very uh, literate with hacking and mods and stuff. Why don't you riddle me this? How is it that since uh, GTA has never been on GTA 5 has never been on computer, at least not yet? How is it that you have a Trevor Phillips model already? I mean, that just confuses me. Reload. Do you hack it and somehow Are just hack that the 360 version and put it hit. somehow on computer? Because I know the PS3 version would be hard to hack and probably mess up everything. I'm not illiterate when it comes to modding stuff. So, someone explain to me that. that that's That'd be good to read in the comments. Trevor Phillips is ready. Oh, this is just so cool. Screw you, Hunter. Everyone ignore the witch. At least we have a full team again. That two people quit on me. So, oh yeah, I'm probably going to need to split this up into two videos just so it's not an hour long. I'm sorry that my Dark Carnival playthrough was an hour long, but... I just wanted to do something special for you guys since I hadn't done a video in a while, and that was a treat. This is also a treat since it's Valentine's Day, but not an hour-long treat. That was game lag, by the way. So, it's not going to be an hour-long treat. You're not my boo. You're not my girlfriend. Turn my